Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Buki Akimare. I'm a food blogger and a content creator in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell also so you're notified when next I post new recipes. I post them every Sunday afternoon. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious catfish pepper soup. For this recipe, I'm using one whole catfish which has been cut and cleaned. I'm also using crayfish powder and chicken seasoning. I'm using yellow pepper. I love, love the flavors of yellow pepper. I'm also using scent leaf. I'm using Cameroon pepper. I'm using some salt, some pepper soup spice and fresh ginger and two cloves of garlic. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour boiling water over my fish. This is just going to toughen the skin. It's not absolutely necessary, so if you don't want to do it, that's fine. But I feel like when you pour hot water over your fish before making pepper soup, it toughens the skin and it doesn't disintegrate when it starts to cook. So you only need to do that for a few seconds and then you take it out of the water and then place it in the pot that you want to use. I'm carefully placing all of my fish in this pot now where I'm going to make the pepper soup. And then I'm going to add this blend of yellow pepper, ginger and garlic that I made. I just blended it with water, that's all. Next I'm going to add my Cameroon pepper and some salt. I'm adding my crayfish powder and the chicken seasoning also. I like crayfish powder in my pepper soup. I think it, it gives it a really nice flavor. For someone that does not like crayfish in a lot of things, I feel like in pepper soup, you just can't skip it. It adds a really, really nice flavor to it. That was the chicken seasoning I just added. And now I'm going to add some water. This is cold water, by the way. Just add as much water as you think you need for your soup or just enough water to submerge the fish and properly cook it and then you can top it up later. Now I'm going to cover the pot and just set this on medium high to cook. I didn't add the pepper soup spice before but I'm going to add it now. So I've only just allowed the fish to come to a boil. It's not completely cooked yet and now I'm going to add in my pepper soup spice. I don't know why I didn't add it in the beginning but I never do. I feel like I need to let the soup start to cook before i add in my pepper soup spice i i don't know i think it's something about it losing its flavor or something i don't know but anyway this is how i make it i've added the pepper soup spice afterwards before the fish is ready and now i'm just using this spoon to um, pour some of the soup over the fish because the spice was kind of on top of the fish and i needed it to be in the water clearly i wasn't paying attention <laughs> So I'm just doing that now and I'm going to cover the pot so that the fish can completely cook. It will take about 15 minutes for the fish to completely cook depending on the size. Next, I'm going to slice my scent leaf. My friend told me a few years ago that if you're cooking with scent leaf, make sure you only slice it just as you're about to use it. Otherwise, it loses its flavor and I've just stuck with it since then. I don't know if it's true but I've just, you know, stuck with what she said. So now I'm going to add my scent leaf into the soup. And this is two minutes before I take it off the heat, just for the scent leaf to cook a little bit. If you can't get scent leaf, basil is a closed soap. They have the same flavor profile and it would do the same thing. It will flavor your pepper soup nicely. So I'm just kind of stirring it gently so that my fish doesn't disintegrate um, before my scent leaf is cooked. And this, you guys, is how you make catfish pepper soup. Not difficult at all. It's one of the simplest things ever. And you can apply this to goat meat and all your other pepper soup that you want to make really, really easy. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me your questions and your comments down below. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing that. And I'm going to see you in my next video, which is next Sunday. Thank you so much for always being here, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.